Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Ellen J. Goods in Medina, New York. Welcome to IOD TV. Today, once we get a few people on, we are going to be talking about applying transfers to fabric. Does it work? What do you have to do? Does it last? We're gonna we're gonna kind of take a deep dive into all of that. Um, let's uh, let's get going. So, um, what I want you to know is um, <laughs> there are some different variables that you have to keep in mind when you are applying a transfer on fabric several different variables. It's going to end up being um, the material you use, the finish you use, and the purpose for the piece. So um, I tested several different types of fabrics. Um, I took several fabric samples. This is a canvas. Um, this is actually just drop cloth. Okay. And this is linen, a nice linen weave. Um, and we have some other various, this was a muslin, which has a little bit of a, a coarser weave. I have a tighter weave muslin. And then this is actually, you know, a, a nice fine quilting cotton. So it has a very, very tight weave. What I found is, um, this is gonna be your best option, a really tight, weave. The tighter you can you can get it, the better. So um, when I tested this out, what I did is I actually, I tried applying the transfer directly to my fabric. Didn't work. I tried doing a coat of clear polycrylic to my fabric. Didn't work. What I discovered is because of the material that our fabric is made from, um, or I'm sorry, because of the material that the transfers are made from, you have to have a very stable surface for it to adhere to. So I'm just gonna demonstrate a little bit on one of these. If I were to apply my transfer just straight up on fabric, you can see there's a lot of texture there. So that transfer is not, it might transfer, but it's not going to adhere. So I'm even having a hard time getting it to adhere. So while it looks really pretty there, what I wanna show you is, check this out. That will so easily scrape right off of that fabric. It is not stable on there. See that? It's not gonna wear very well. So if you think about it, you know, if you put this on a pillow or if you put it on a table runner, a pillow especially because it's gonna get a lot of use and you, I mean, granted, you it can be for decorative purposes only, but it's really not going to be the most long lasting, um, application of the transfer on fabric. It would very easily wear right off. Now, what you could you? You could apply um, a clear polycrylic sealer over this, but you'd have to do the whole thing. And you mean even, the whole piece of fabric? The whole piece of fabric, yes. And even then, you run the danger of it popping up because remember that a transfer is not, it, it's not porous. So your top coat is not gonna seep through it. So here's what I discovered. I wanna provide a stable surface for my transfer. Just, I was trying to actually reproduce the, um, the process that you, how you would apply that transfer to um, a piece of furniture or a decor piece. Okay, so I thought, hmm, I need to paint that surface. So I painted, and I put several several coats of paint on my on my um, on my fabric. You can see that it kind of soaked all the way through. You want to get a really good base on here. Here's another one. See how it's almost soaked right through. 
it almost creates kind of a leathery finish, but it gives us something for the transfer to adhere to, okay? You wanna make sure these are completely dry. If you have any moisture still in these, that moisture is going to come up through the fabric. It has to go somewhere and it's going to um, release your transfer from underneath and we don't want that to happen. So how would I use these? How would I apply these transfers and use them in an application? Um, I would use it on a pocket like here. This isn't getting a tremendous amount of wear and tear. This is held up beautifully. I make these and sell them in the shop and they're, they've, they really do hold up nicely. Is it something you can throw in the washing machine? No, and no. But you can, after you've finished it, you can, um, you can spot clean it. So I'm just kind of um, making this fit a little bit better. And I might actually use this piece for a pocket on something. And I'm gonna use the same technique that I would as if I were applying the transfer to a piece of furniture or a tray, a decor tray, something that I would, something that I have painted. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna transfer this right onto that painted fabric. The other way that you could do use this would be like on the back of a chair. You know what I mean? When you upholster a chair, the the back, the very back of the chair, not the not in the seat part, but the back side of the chair. That would be a great place to um, apply a transfer for a more decorative look because it's not going to get the it's not going to get beat up like it would if it were um, on the seat. But you'll see that it's going to transfer nicely. And that paint, that paint finish, and again, this probably has three or four coats on it. Do we remember? Probably about three or four coats on these. Okay, Audrey asks, how do you order transfers? How do you order transfers? Um, you would go to the Iron Orchid Design website and they have a retailer locator there. So Audrey, there are those of us that have brick and mortar stores. You can walk directly in. You might find one that's local to your area. And there are many of us that have online shops as well. If you um, go to the IOD store, you'll find um, that you can search for either of those, either a brick and mortar that's close to you or one of us that sell online. Okay, so here I go. We're always testing the boundaries <laughs> and seeing what we can do with these, but this would make a really pretty like table runner, table mat. And just like when you are applying a transfer to a piece of furniture, you wanna go over this and you wanna make sure that that is completely adhered. You don't want any wrinkles, you don't want any bubbles. You wanna make sure that this is completely adhered because you are dealing with the weave of a fabric. You've got a little bit of texture there. But you can see if I were to try to apply a transfer, even if this was painted, it's gonna be a little too bumpy. See that? It would just be too bumpy for me. I tried it, didn't work so well. Would it work in a frame, Jenna asked. Oh, of course, of course, because it's not going to get bent and twisted like it would on a pillow, for example. Absolutely, you could do this in a frame. You could paint a canvas piece. I would just say, make sure that you apply enough coats of paint so that you provide that nice, smooth surface. Any chalk style paint will do. Um, you can just test and sample. and make sure that you have completely burnished that. Now, I'm just gonna show you if I, we've got a little bit better result. Remember when I tried to scrape away, when I scraped away on, on this, where I just applied it to my fabric? 
I tried scraping and it, and it does not do well. Candace asked if she could put them on jeans. I don't no, think so. If this is not washable, please keep that in mind. Once the, you, you can't throw this in the washing machine, okay? It's not going to last. So the only way that you want to use this is on something that you would, um, like here, I put it on just a pocket. Now, this is not a very, you know, this isn't a high-end tote bag. I wouldn't do this on a $200 bag. Um, this is a, a $30 tote bag that I found, and I applied, I made a pocket out of my finished piece. It has almost a leathery feel to it. See that? But I can just wipe it with a damp cloth. I would not throw this in the washing machine. It would never, never, never hold up. <laughs> All right, so here again, this is just a leftover piece of transfer. The other thing I would wanna caution you is to make sure, especially if you're using a leftover piece, you know how they can come separated from the backing and they can get a little dusty on the back. You wanna make sure that they're perfectly pristine. Um, and that they haven't been sitting around collecting dust on the back of them. That is gonna interfere with how these adhere. See, I am definitely applying a little more pressure to this and that's because I, I, don't ha I do have that, that little bit of texture to this fabric. So the transfers are, you're gonna get, a, it's a different feel when you apply them. A little bit of a different feel. So here we are. Very pretty. And so I'm gonna take a cloth, soft cloth, and I'm just gonna make sure that that is completely adhered. This is just a little bit of a leftover. I might make this into a pocket. I'll probably put another flower there. I'll find something and then I would, what I would do is I would actually sew this Oh, look at that, it's almost a perfect fit. I would actually uh, sew this down, or maybe not. Maybe I would just turn it this way. Make sure that it's folded. Press that down. And then I would pin this in place on my bag. And you can see what I did here is I, I just did a double row of stitching with a little bit of a raw edge on my bag. Okay, so how am I gonna finish these off? Um, there's a couple ways that you can do it, depending on what you're using it for. I'm not even gonna bother with this guy. It's a little more coarse than I would like. I'm just gonna put lemons on there. Um, this is a clear polycrylic. You do not wanna use a varnish. You wanna use a non-yellowing polycrylic. And why do you want to use that? It's because it has some elasticity in it. And it's going to then move with your piece. It's gonna move with your fabric and not crack. So again, whatever, what, whatever brand you're using, um, you're gonna test it out, see what works with the paint that you use and try and do some experiments yourself. And I would let that dry. I'd probably give this another coat so this one here, we're gonna try waxing this one. Now I might apply wax if I was using it on the back of a furniture piece, for example. Melanie just asked, have you tried wax? I'm gonna try that right now, Melanie. Is it I don't know that I would use this. I'm not sure of how stable this would be of a finish. But um, once wax cures, it, it's usually pretty good. Mm -hmm and then I would just buff that out. But I could totally see this being done on, uh, on the back of a chair, for example. Transfers. So again, just to recap, um, we're using as fine a weave fabric as possible. This was actually on a, on a piece of higher quality quilting cotton, which is a very, very tight weave. This is on a nice piece of um, a nice quality, 100% cotton, nice tight weave. This has a little bit of a looser weave to it. And you can almost see it, right? If it, if it really, if those strings really pull off of there, 
that's a looser weave. It's got more texture to it. I did not use and would not use drop cloth fabric. I would not use a canvas that has texture to, to it. I would not use a linen that has texture to it. Now, if this was an ultra fine, beautiful tight weave linen, yes, but then I would be asking, why in the world are you painting it and putting a transfer on it? <laughs> so um, have fun with it. Let us know if you have any questions and have a great day, you guys. Enjoy the week.